Okay, the field is moving in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It is post time for race two. Now let's send it upstairs to Vance Cameron for the call. Meadowland Bobcats celebrate your vets sports royalty. HP Bushido Drag Jet. Four corners, CJ Bluefin. Lincoln Blues, the best of me in the grandstand side. Second race, they're up on the gate. Top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. Up and pacing, HP Bushido drag jet the first one away. Four corners, second, celebrate your bet. Will be third into the turn. Driving up fourth on the outside is Lincoln Blues. Away fifth is Meadowland Bobcat. Sports Royalty in six. Then seventh as they arrive up the eighth pole at TJ Bluefin, the early trailer. The best of me. On the back stretch they go. Four corners will make front for Ronnie Matheson. Second is HP Bruchito drank at Lincoln Blues caught on the outside and under some heavy urging in the early going third. Fourth up the rail to celebrate your bet. Meadowland Bobcat around the turn fifth. 29 and two opened it up. Back into six is Sports Royalty with C.J. Bluefin. He's seventh and the trailer. That is the best of me. Four corners swinging off the turn with the lead for Matheson. Lincoln Blues in a whole heap of trouble. Caught on the outside second. H.P. Bruschito drags at the rail third. Then in fourth, that celebrates your bet. Meadowland Bobcat on the outside fifth. Up the rail going sixth is Sports Royalty. C.J. Bluefin seventh and the trailer. The best of me, 59, three was the half, three-eighths of a mile to go, four corners, the leader, Lincoln Blues living on the outside, second, third at the rail, H.P. Bruschito drags it, celebrate your bet now to the outside, fourth, sports royalty, a ground-saving trip, coming on to be fifth at the rail, C.J. Bluefin is sixth, the best of me, seventh, now the trailer, Meadowland Bobcat, the three quarters up in one, 31 and one, down to an eighth to go, four corners to leader, Lincoln Blues, what an effort from him, he's still right there, H.P. Bruschino takes that up the rail, third, celebrate your pet, they're in deep, stretch now, H.P. Bruschino takes that will get there with McPherson, then Lincoln Blues in four corners, 2-0, Two and one. Well, Kurt, you had them boxed up there. Uh, four, one at uh, the uh, seven was second, and the uh, five was third. What a horse race here, though, tonight. Ronnie goes to the front. And uh, David comes early, and uh, we were saying during the race, maybe uh, Corey just likes to draft here tonight. Yeah, and he did too. Uh, Ronnie did not want to take the two-hole here tonight because of the lines on the four uh, and Corey. He hasn't been racing well the last couple of weeks, especially that last line. But today, he drafted along in the two-hole following Ronnie through those fractions. 29 and 259 and 3, 131 and 1. They're pretty good fractions. And the seven, Lincoln Blues and David Dowling, what a trip he goes here tonight. Parked the entire mile. But Corey was watching it all take place and gets up the pass lane here to get up in the final strides to nab Lincoln Blues on the line. Time of the mile, 2.02 and 1. So we're looking at a 4.75 try here in race 2. H.P. Bruschito Drangjet arriving at the second race winner's circle. Bay Pacing Galling, a six-year-old son of Jeremy's jet from the Panderosa Dam, the Dragonosa, owned by Keith Kamek of Willow Grove, New Brunswick, trained by Stephen Goss, Corey McPherson, the winning driver. 202, 
And a one-fifth, the time for the mile, H.P. Bruchito, Drag Jack in the second. <laughs> 